He grows up enslaved in a house in Greenwich, but when he grows up, he runs away and becomes like an actual page. So on that video about Ignatius Sancho, I got a couple of comments like this, saying that he couldn't have been enslaved in Greenwich because slavery was illegal. This is actually a fairly common misconception in Britain, so let's debunk it. What is true is that Britain has a very early abolition movement back in the 11th century led by this guy, Bishop Wolfstan. And because of that abolition movement, the slave trade died out in Britain for centuries. However, by the 18th century, the time of the transatlantic slave trade, this is no longer being enforced. We know this partly from accounts of actual enslaved people like Phyllis Wheatley and James Somerset and Mary Prince, all of whom spend at least some time enslaved to white families in London. We also know it was happening because when enslaved people ran away, their owners in Britain put lost and found notices in the newspapers. There are hundreds of these in newspaper archives all over Britain, and the owners clearly aren't worried about any legal consequences because they're putting their real names and addresses on them. Their family portraits include black people wearing collars. What is true is that we can't grow sugar or cotton in the British Isles, so we don't have plantations here. Most of these people would have been domestic servants.